it's it's too hard. Scientific evidence has determined that current technology is sufficient to reduce greenhouse gas emissions enough to avoid climate change. All right, let's see what these people are saying right here. Wow. About NASA. Yeah, here we go. Yeah, yeah, thing of climate change. You watching that now? Yeah. yeah. This is a, a recent video that came out a couple of days ago. Hey, it's only on NASA. That's not here. Yeah, you gotta turn the volume on now. Ooh, got some music on that bitch. Every year, farms and fields are used right to a symphony of sorts. Pollination, symphony the springtime of syncopation of flowering plants. Syncopation, wow. What the fuck is this guy using for words? Syncopation. <laughs> and the animals who fuck? feast on the nectar and pollen. The fuck is a syncopation? Never heard that shit. English, bro. Do you see English? Is it? Do you even English, bro? Pollinators like honeybees have evolved a well-timed dance with plants. But now, Ooh. plants may be changing their tune. They're changing their tune. Plants. Spring green up when plants wake from winter and sprout leaves. Mm -hmm. It's such a global phenomenon that NASA satellites can see it from yep. space. Oh wow, we can see it from space. Oh wow, that's supposed to be from space right there. If you can see this from oh. space, hold up. If you can see this from space, then how, why is the Earth global? Why is it a globe? Tell me. That's that uh, condensed map, bro. They got to condense the map. Such as Modus on NASA's. <laughs> oh, look at this satellite, baby. Can show us how green our planet is throughout the Whoa. year. Whoa. And they've captured something strange. Golden. It's that golden edition. They captured the something US, strange. The spring green up is starting about a half day earlier each year. Half day like earlier! Our warming climate. <laughs> but is pollination also moving Each early? year, bro. Each the year. images can't detect individual flowers. Oh! So scientists climate. have been left to guess until now. Wow. Did you hear that? We can't see individual plants. But we're just gonna leave it up to guessing and chance. <laughs> oh. <laughs> NASA research scientist Wayne Isaias spearheads a special team gathering data now. directly in the field. Oh, here we They're go. They're the honeybees in his Maryland backyard. Honeybees are great what data doing collectors now? for He's putting some smoke. The oh, okay, I got it, I got it. Okay. Bees I he was fly smoking something. He's a pussy. Half miles in all real, real beekeepers don't need no fucking smoke. Telling you right now. Directions to scout for 100 forage and bring back pollen. That's that Tanzanian right there. And so therefore, they Strength. sample a very <laughs> large range of environments. By weighing the hives, Wayne can detect when nectar peaks and ebbs each year. Oh wow! During really? the winter, the hive loses weight as they eat the honey to feed the babies and keep warm. And then no, the it loses weight because there ain't no fucking flowers, you dumb fuck. <laughs> Are you fucking dumb? There's no fucking flowers in winter. In it's fucking dumbass. Uh, the hive I'm telling you. Gaining weight. It can gain a tremendous amount of weight. It's because they're feeding their babies. That's why it's losing weight. Really? Or is it because there's no more pollen out there? I've had a hive wow. gain 25 pounds in one day. Wayne's been keeping tabs on his bees for less than 20 years. But in that time, pollination. How dare you question a beekeeper? Days days How can you do that? Dumb fuck. That's <laughs> completely in sync. NASA shirt on. Satellite data record shows. Why does he have a NASA shirt on? World here, getting Sponsored. greener earlier in the spring by about Look at this half graphic. a day a year. It's a graphic. If Look at this pussy. Can't even measurements open that shit without a mask. Hating him so hard. Wow. Chill. I'm sorry, bro, but this is some pussy ass shit right here. Measurements of when the nectar flows occur Yo, to very hilarious. large areas of the country. <laughs> now, to Yo, gotta call this guy out right here. How For no reason, dude. Leave him alone, bro. <laughs> say deserts or mountains. Sorry, bro. <laughs> this is exciting here. Honeybee net is a. Here we go. That one. Oh, of course. Honeybee net. Uh, that volunteered <laughs> to weigh their hives to give us more data points oh. to see how there you go. Uh, the nectar flows are changing. Give, give us your data so we can track you and see if you're selling it. The country. 
If pollination dates keep creeping forward, keep plants creeping and pollinators forward. could move out of sync. All right, I think I'm done. Oh, wait, wait, oh, oh this Currently, is good. young bees are able to grow Here and we get go. out Look on the this. hunt by the time plants bloom. Nice. But if plants bloom before bees are ready, both miss out. The plants, if plants bloom before oh, bees no, are ready. Wow, I missed it, bro. But more than Come just next bees year. might miss a meal. Are you Damn, kidding me? You think you the think bee. you think the bees are that dumb? Are you fucking stupid? That they the they're gonna oh we're gonna sleep it we're gonna sleep and we're gonna keep sleeping because you know we didn't recognize that the the flowers are already blooming. We're, we're gonna give up. <laughs> I'm sorry. Yeah, it's not it's not a, it's not that program made like a human. You know, I, I don't know. I'm not a bee expert here, but well, let's be let's be logical. If yeah, a bee's, yeah. if a bee's, its only job is to do that, then why, why wouldn't it recognize? Oh, it's blooming a little early. Why wouldn't it recognize that? Right. Because are they dumb? Are they fucking don't know shit? Wow. You're watching Easy and Ebra TV.